I'm here with Mark Duplass, otherwise known uh, in my mind and heart as the Brad Pitt of Sundance. Um, yeah, the king. He uh, is here, it feels like, every year, even though it's maybe only, I don't know, how many times you've been here? Eleven times. Eleven times. Well, then, that's fair to say it. I'm 150 years old. <laughs> Celebrating its 30th anniversary, Sundance, I'm sure we'll see much more of you to come. I hope so, man, as long as they have me back. You produce the Skeleton Twins, and you are on, you're in, starring, and in this movie, uh, The One I Love. Yes. Which I loved, I have to say. That but is the movie, The One You Love? We would yes, say that? Boom. Yes. Yes. That could go on the poster. You could that do that, work. yes. Um, this film, a relationship movie on epic proportions, times 10, uh, is so brilliant and affecting on every level. Thank you. Uh, Elizabeth Moss is terrific. She'll be in here later. Tell me about why this, this film why you wanted to make this movie? Well, you know, I uh, had become friends with Elizabeth Moss, and I feel like she kind of is the actress of our generation. And 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 we're obviously we've seen this in Mad Men, and and Top of the Lake was a big deal, but um, I hadn't quite seen her play just this lovely, sweet, kind-hearted, smart woman that she is in sort of the form of uh, the movies that I do, which are more in-depth relationship studies. And we talked a lot about that mm -hmm. and building one together. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, um, I don't want to repeat myself as an artist, and I don't want to keep making just the same kind of movie. So we said, let's go out and build one of these in-depth uh, sort of relationship study movies, and let's flip it on its head, and let's do something completely different. So it will be at once familiar territory, and at the same time terrifying when we try mm -hmm. to do something new. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Now, does anybody in your other life, uh, in your separate Sundance life on The League, mm -hmm. and now on The Mindy Project, does anybody have any idea there about all your like brilliant indie cred? Um, it's an interesting thing, you know. I would say uh, the fans of a show like The League differ from the the Sundance fans. You know, when I get stopped on the street here at Sundance, it's it's a lot of like eye contact and hugs and you know, what you did in the puffy chair had a great r effect on the relationship with my girlfriend at the time and these beautiful conversations mm -hmm. happen. The league tends to be a little bit more like um, tackling and getting punched in the groin and <laughs> yelling. Um, I'm open to both <laughs> types of interactions uh, but there, there's not as much crossover between mm -hmm. those two worlds. It is a bit like uh, Jekyll and Hyde to a certain yeah, degree. Yeah, you live two lives. Now, yeah. do, you, do you, obviously, we just, um, Super Bowl, are you picking Super Bowl, it? I mean, baby. who are you rooting for? I got this thing where I have, like, you know, the Saints are my team. I grew up the in New I... Orleans, so that was a little hard for me, so I'm dealing with my heartbreak. But getting back on that horse, for me, uh, Peyton Manning went to the high school next to mine, um, and so I have a, a big thing for him. I want to see him win the Super Bowl. I want to see him prove to people that he can perform in the postseason. Most importantly, I want him to win the Super Bowl and quit so he does not crack his neck and just uh, move on to another phase of his life. Because I watch him now and I get nervous for him. Like, I, like well, I'm, I'm from Colorado and a Broncos oh, person, so yeah. I'm like, ah, yeah. Peyton Manning. Yeah. Uh, thrilled. Yeah, but, it's big, um, man. Do you do any fantasy football? Oh, yeah. We play in a league actually with the members the cast and crew of the show, The League. Um, so that's our predominant competitive league, um, of which I was the champion this year. Wow. I destroyed Nick Kroll and um, his uh, his tiny scrotum in, uh, in, the, in the championship this you're, year. So. You're perfect. I'm not perfect. You're almost perfect. I'm, not, I'm really not perfect. You know why I'm not perfect? Because, wait a minute. Yeah, see? Oh, shh. <laughs> oh my God, I'm, per I'm perfect. You're perfect. I'm perfect. You could oh possibly God. be perfect. Now, um, where is Jay Duplass? This will be my hundredth Sundance, and uh -huh. I have yet to meet Jay Duplass, so I do not even think he exists. I think he was he's here. He's like a fake brother that J you do stuff with. Yeah, Jay was here, um, and as usual, we slept in a queen size bed together when we come to Sundance. It's our favorite thing to do to feel like we're eight and 12 years old again. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, he went back. We're shooting a show for HBO that starts in a few days. Um, wow. So uh, he went back to hold down the fort while I stayed back to take care of the movies here. We do a little divide and mm -hmm. conquer. Um, but uh, he's doing great. He, uh, he just acted in his first thing, um, the pilot for the lovely Jill Soloway, who had a great movie mm -hmm. at Sundance last year. Um, and um, so he's, he's, he's doing great. Great. What, anything you can tell us about the new show? Yeah, the show is called Togetherness, um, and it is uh, basically a, a story of two couples. One is married, played by myself and Melanie Linsky, and they have young children. Uh, the other couple is her sister and my best friend, who are 
financially and professionally um, on uh, the worst place they can possibly be, and they are living on our couch. And uh, it's a great excuse for me to do what I love to do, which is people and their weird, funny, sad feelings bumping up against each other in a house that's too small for them. Yeah. And HBO's been a great place to be sort of supportive mm. of that. So we're shooting uh, our first season uh, uh, just in the next few months. Excellent, excellent. And yeah. you're writing this one out. Yep. Um, and your own relationship, how's that going? It is very, very good. It is very, very complex. <laughs> Katie and I have been together for 13 years. We came to Sundance with our first movie together, yeah. The Puffy Chair. Um, she uh, is home with our kids this time, and she's like, you know what, I don't really need to go. I think you, you go, you do what you gotta do. She's very supportive. And then as soon as all the fun starts coming out on Twitter, she's like, I wanna be there, yeah. I should be here right now, which is exactly what I did last year. Um, but you know what, being in a relationship with someone who shares uh, your profession, uh, we're, we're fully embroiled together, and it is uh, it is certainly complex, but it, in the end, it's worth it. It's amazing, yeah. Do you think Mumblecore is dead now? Is it all? Is it done? Or is someone else? I'm trying to do kill it? it. I'm trying to destroy it with a machine gun. Um, I think that micro budget cinema is alive and well, and I try to yell at the people who complain about the fact that oh, indie movies are so hard to get funded now, and I say yes, it's hard to get five million dollars to go out and make a movie like uh, Soderbergh used to be able to do in the late '80s, but. We have the technology now to make movies on a much cheaper level, so there are no excuses for not going out and making movies. And, and it's great. You know What it means is a lot of garbage is being made because you can make them cheaply, but it also means that that weird 15-year-old kid in the suburbs of Houston, Texas can take out his dad's camera and make a movie that gets into Sundance. And that is what makes this place vital. Yeah, it's incredible. Have yeah. you seen Mr. Sundance himself yet? Uh, which one? There's a couple of them. There's Big Bob. Big Bob's the only one I'm big, talking about. Big Who's, Bobby? Oh yeah, big, big Bobby. Bo big Bobby. I, if he found out I called him Bob, that would be really bad. Yeah. Robert Redford, I should right. do that. Um, I haven't seen him this year. I've, I've, I spend my time a lot with Trevor Groth, who's the mm -hmm. new head programmer here, who was the sh junior shorts programmer the first time I came to the festival in 2003. Wow. So we have this standing picture that we take together in front of the library every year, and we're watching ourselves age every year in this picture. It's really fun. All right, well, it was great to see you, Mark. I Good to see you, Ms. Kristen, as always. Tell Thanks, Katie buddy. I said hi. Movie's uh, we'll great. Do.